Well, Great. I'm not selling anything. Um, <laughs> these prices on here are for people that, if, if you like this design, it's it's up to you. Everything here you see is available at Home Depot, except for this little float down here, which uh, you get on Amazon. <clears throat> and I have tried to explain this system to so many people, and they say, no, nope, it doesn't work, because it's got a float on it, and it'll fail, and you'll flood your pond with chlorine water. Well, <clears throat> I'm an electrical engineer, and I designed a system that uh, is 90% electronic or electrical, and, and this little float's the only thing that uh, is mechanical. So first of all, <clears throat> you bring your water in here, and I just put a little valve here, because you got to have a way to shut it off. You go through a carbon filter. It's up to you. You don't have to. <clears throat> but then I put two valves here. The failure mode of these valves is off. So if the valve fails, all you're going to do is not fill your pool. But if you put two of them in, <laughs> you could put ten of them in here if you're paranoid. And <laughs> really, Are we all? <laughs> you really want redundancy. What controls the valves are a little timer that you get at Home Depot for 11 bucks, and I have that set to come on every day for 10 minutes. So the only time these valves get any energy is for 10 minutes a day, and that's all. That's all. That's all they can open. Is it normally open or normally closed? Normally closed. Yeah. yeah so for 10 minutes a day, you get enough. You, you, this turns on, and you energize your trans. Anybody's interested. I'll help them design this. And all of this, um, you can pass this stuff around. I have, I have mine uh, in, in, my, in my shed, and it's all hidden. Um, you know, like Eric, you've got, a, you've got a place where your filters and everything are. You put it back there. You don't see anything except these little floats in the pond. Like the switch, basically. The switch. The switch. The switch. Explain on, the floats off. again. Yeah, well, the float switch, it's a little magnet. And when it's up, the, the, there, it's a reed switch in there, and it, it, it'll take a couple of amps. When the float is up, that means your pond is full, and the reed switch is open. And then when the pond gets low, the little float drops down, closes the switch, and that's the only time these valves can get any power to them to open out. And then as soon as the pond fills up, this switch, this uh, float moves up, and closes. And so if you have four of these around the pond, they all have to be in the up position. Uh, if one is up,